no one knows the true course that evolution has taken. It's deviated way more times than are even possible to keep track of. In some instances, two species that had deviated long ago have evolved into very similar organisms. Take for instance the sugar glider and the flying squirrel. Both have striking similarities and yet they evolve completely independently from one another. One is a placental mammal and the other is a marsupial, separated by oceans. But we won't go into too many details about that. One of the most fascinating things I find is predator and prey relations. In many instances, predator-prey relationships have stimulated or increased the rate of evolution or natural selection. The lion and the gazelle, the alligator and the turtle. The lion has developed the skills to hunt, surprise, and kill the gazelle, while the gazelle has developed agility and strength, in numbers, actually. The gazelle performs a stunt called stunning, which is believed to be a form of intimidation as to show the lion, hey, I'm way more agile than you, as well as a warning for the rest of the herd to say, hey, I've seen a lion or some other predator. But let's scale it down a little, down to the size of a fly. The list goes on and on. There are 120,000 identified and listed species of flies, all with some similarities and shocking differences. The fly. This one example is more than enough justification for no need to travel the world in search of new species to present. If I did that, that would be in many ways an injustice, because like I said in a previous video, I'm hoping to focus on a more isolated area to have a better understanding of how all these things fit together. Yellow Jackets. Many consider them wicked. They form massive colonies, typically subterranean, which are well known for their bad disposition. Or maybe that's just our misinterpretation. Like most Hymenopteras, which is a huge family of familiar insects like wasps, bees, ants, and sawflies. And most Hymenopteras will protect their colony if they are threatened. Now that's just remarkable, right? You see, these characteristics are almost human-like. They have no intentions of harming humans because they're actually smart enough to realize that suicide. We've given so many of these Hymenopteras the perfect name like Cicada Killer, Orchid Bee, Organ Pipe Mud Diver, the Robber Fly. But there's so many instances where the names feel more like an urban myth, the Cow Killer, with no reported instances of cows or humans ever dying, or the Bullet Ant, being compared to being shot by a bullet. I mean, I'd like to meet the person that said the sting felt the same as the bullet that shot me back in Nam. But in most cases, the names make perfect sense. The Cicada Killer, known for hunting down and killing cicadas. The Orchid Bee being the primary pollinator for a very specialized orchid. Their relationship is completely symbiotic. The Organ Pipe Mud Dauber, well, you can pretty much see the resemblance here. But the robber fly left me with a bit of a mystery. The robber waits out of sight stalking its next victim. With long legs and stealth, it's able to maneuver itself around some of the most fierce insects in the animal kingdom, other hybenopteras. At first glimpse, it could be mistaken for just your average fly, but it's far more than just that. It's completely adapted and evolved and stimulating more predator-prey relations. This would include one of the most fierce and feared insects in the animal kingdom, the yellow jacket, with huge colonies of thousands of different specimens. The robber fly waits patiently for its unsuspecting victim to leave the safety of its colony. And with one very precise dive bomb, it's able to grab its prey, pin it, inject it with its proboscis, and ingest it slowly, all the while not having any fear of this yellow jacket stinger. The robber fly has adapted longer legs in order to keep its dangerous prey items, hymenopteras, predators, in their right at a distance so it can prey on them. Now that just gets way too confusing. And certainly a big role reversal there. I do believe that without these predator-prey relations we would not have nearly the biodiversity that we have here on Earth today. And it is totally up to us not only to protect the prey or innocent insects, but some of the most feared insects like the yellow jacket because we just never really fully understand what their role is in our ecosystem. We the citizens of our nation and our earth are endowed with certain rights, powers, and obligations, which we demand to act and preserve the future of humanity as well as Earth's other animals and biological life. Based on abundant scientific evidence, we recognize that our global climate is rapidly warming, 
and becoming increasingly unstable due to human-caused atmospheric carbon pollution from many of the different human activities like burning of fossil fuels. We also recognize that in spite of 35 years of credible scientific warnings, global warming is still rising and is now at dangerous levels. We are now experiencing intensified weather due to our current global climate crisis, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. We have been experiencing record-breaking floods, hurricanes, and wildfires. We have witnessed the worst in centuries droughts and dust storms. We have experienced alternating unseasonably cold and warm winters, extreme storms, bomb cyclones, and rain bombs, where weeks or months worth of rain all falls within a few minutes. We have seen these things with our very own eyes and felt these things with our very own flesh. Something is very abnormal, and there are small things we can all do in order to make a big impact. It is crucially important that we all support each other and fight this fight because it's not going to fight itself. No one person has all the answers, but I believe together we can solve this problem. Like I said before, we're building a team with a mission all about conservation. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the content in this video, be sure you go back and check out some of my previous videos. I really appreciate all your support, and please hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot.